So we are at a, a stage at the moment. There are two contests in this, and there is another trophy for the individual highest scoring rider. And we've seen some very, very big hits from one of our two female competitors, particularly this, this week. Everything on this side of the flag is for me. So if you could please all it. This is both for your safety and for the safety of my crew, which needs to run up and down that space. Has her legs. Has, has his. Now remember, it's first thing in the morning, everyone's fresh. It changes. <laughs> but. <laughs> Take a little bit. It's like hurting kittens sometimes. You that way. You that way. Right. Sorry, as many of you know, but I certainly think it bears repeating. This has been an intense competition where every point matters. It comes down to one single point. Sorry. In black and white tabards. To my right, we have Callum, and to my left, we have Chris. Saying the heat we've had this week is that all throughout this week, all of our riders who provide horses for television and film, as well as for Jouse of the Royal Armouries in Leeds. This is a old style medieval mock event.
That means it remains only to welcome our now know that we can cheer when we hear those crunches tells us it's not real. Right now, he's getting a score check. Also, gives all the competitors and that horses that moment to catch their breath. Jousting career, but in that time she's jousted excellent. This is a friendship network. Taking one ready, but also not quite. Three points each and a shattered lance. Zero Australia. So Australia just draw back. Four points. Whoa. Four points to three, England. Oh. Uh, three points to France, but those points back, England going not quite. Thank you very much, good hands on. So we're going to see where the score stand heading into the final round. Four more passes that will determine our team champions. The Aussies are eroding England's lead. This does feel a bit familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> Two passes to go to determine the outcome. I believe your phrase is, uh, this ain't my first rodeo. Okay? Yeah, it's not my first rodeo. <laughs> ...for Arundel and South Downs, and Shadow Secretary of State, Mr. Andrew Griffin, who has kindly agreed to present today's prizes at the 2024 Arundel Castle International Joust Competition.